Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Governor Mike Pence says the case for his proposed 10 percent income tax cut isn't just about the average household saving money. He says lowering the tax will cause average personal income to increase and help Indiana compete for more jobs and investment. Senate Appropriations Chair Luke Kenley says he thinks it makes more sense to start with the permanent 3 percent income tax cut proposed in the Senate budget rather than talking about a more gradual implementation of the bigger 10 percent cut. And the Indiana Lieutenant Governor announced today the state would be expanding a fund aimed at helping Hoosiers avoid foreclosure. WTIU's Gretchen Frazee reports on how that expansion could impact counties with the highest foreclosure rates. The state is expanding the Hardest Hit Fund, a fund the U.S. Department of Treasury established to help unemployed Hoosiers pay their mortgage. Homeowners can now qualify for up to $30,000 instead of $18,000. They can also receive help for a full two years instead of 18 months. And more people can qualify based on the hardships they faced. In Lawrence County, nearly one in every 540 homes is in foreclosure. That puts the county among the highest in the state. Bedford Remax Real Estate Center owner Barbara Wright says many people have been negatively affected by layoffs over the past five years. As you see, this house behind me is one that's on the short sale list. And this home in this neighborhood, which is $350,000 average in this neighborhood, um, people have just been unfortunate with losing jobs. But IU Center for Real Estate Studies Director Doug McCoy says programs such as the Hardest Hit Fund often sound great, but they don't produce the desired results. What we hear in a broad sense is that we are doing something to help those that are in need, but when we get down to the, the, the practical matter, uh, it can be a very narrow group that we've made aware and that actually meet the criteria. Back in Lawrence County, Wright says she didn't know about the program, and if she doesn't know about it, she doubts homeowners do either. For WTIU News, I'm Gretchen Frazee. And a quick check of the weather forecast tonight. A 40% chance of thunderstorms, lows in the mid-60s. Tomorrow, a 70% chance of thunderstorms. Some of those might be severe highs around 80. Then tomorrow night, more rain and thunderstorms with lows in the upper 40s. And then a quick check of the five-day forecast on Friday. Mostly cloudy, slight chance of thunderstorms, highs only in the mid Fifties, 55 by Saturday, 61 degrees, a bit warmer by Sunday. For WTIU News, I'm Joe Wren.